Hi, this is Dr. Nikki, and I am here today with my honored guest, Miss Chloe, and we are going to be doing a math running record. So um, we're going to get started. Um, this is what a math running record is. It's just a way to see how you know your math facts. There's three parts. The first part, I'm going to have you answer some questions about multiplication. The second part, I'm going to ask you some questions about the questions about multiplication. <laughs> the third part, I'm going to ask you some questions about math. Okay? Okay. So to get started, what you do is you just go through and you tell me the answers. You don't have to read the problem. You can just tell me the answers. And I'm going to take notes. Okay. Okay. Go. Zero, um, two, 15, 70, 12, and um, um, can I come back to that one? Yeah. Eight. You can say skip or pass, but I want you to okay. try it, and okay. then if you just want to pass, you can. Okay. Fifty-six. Forty. Let's see. I'll just come back to it. Is it this one that I skipped? Yes. Okay, I'll just come back to this one. Okay. Let's see. What do you do when you get stuck? What's your strategy? Um, imagine this one as a five, and then... Tell me what. You're imagining what? This as a five. Uh-huh. Five times seven equals 35. Uh-huh. Plus another group of seven. Uh-huh. Equals... Forty-two. Okay. Mm. Which one do I need to come? Um, with? nine times six. Nine times six. Do you have a strategy for your nines? A little bit. What's your strategy? 
imagine this is a 10. Okay. And then I, and then that's 60, and then minus a group of 6 uh -huh. is 54. Okay. All right, so let's talk about what you do when you're multiplying. When you multiply by zero, what happens? It always ends up zero. Okay. When you multiply by one, what happens? It's always the same number that you're multiplying by one. Okay. When you multiply by ten, what happens? It's the number in, like, it's like tens. It's like tens. So what's eight times ten? Eighty. What's uh, ten times ten? One hundred. Okay. When you multiply by fives, what do you do? Well, when I multiply by fives, I just think of like money, it's like nickels, and it's like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and okay. so on. So if I said what's 7 times 5, what would you say? Okay. Um, 35. Okay, so tell me how you figured it out. I just counted by fives and um so and you're counting by fives on your finger right yeah okay um what's four times five four times five is twenty okay so you know that one yeah uh what's eight times five eight times forty all right how did you know that so quickly because it's kind of one that i already memorized okay what's nine times five nine times forty five Okay. What is six times five? Six times five is thirty. Okay. When you're multiplying by two, what do you do? I just double the number. All right. It's two times two times four. Two times four is eight. Two times nine. Two times nine is eighteen. Two times seven. Two times seven is fourteen. What do you do when you're multiplying by four? When I'm multiplying by four, I multiply by twos then multiply the number that's mul that came out of the twos and then that's the answer. Okay, so what's 4 times 2? So 4 times 2 is 8. What's 4 times 9? 4 times 9. Four, wait, 30, um, 36. Tell me what you did exactly. So, no, that, wait, what was the problem? 4 times 9. 4 times 9. So I know that nine times well two times nine is eighteen. So I so I did two times eighteen, and that was um, thirty six. Okay. Um, okay. What is um, if I didn't know eight times three? What's a way that I could solve that problem? Okay, you could. So eight times three. You could just, like, so, what you could do is you could, like, know that 8 times 2 is mm -hmm. 16, then add another group of 8, which is, like, um, 24. Okay. What is 8 times 9? 8 times 9. Um, 72. Tell me what you did. So, I imagine the 9 as 10, so 8 times 10 would be 80, then I minus a group of 8. Okay. Um, what about when you're multiplying by 3s, what do you do? When I'm multiplying by threes, I just um, double the number that's being multiplied by three. I just make it like, I make it like... Like what's three times six? Three times six it would be 18, but how I'd figure that out is like, I'd, um, I'd do two times six. Uh-huh. And then I'd add another group of six. Okay. Um, what is, what do you think and do when you're multiplying by sixes? Like think, what six times nine? Well, I figure out what I figure out what it is multiplied by three, then double that number. Okay, so what is six times nine? Six times nine.
Times nine, right? Mm. Eighteen. Another group of nine. Be twenty. Twenty-six. And then. 26. Tell me what you're doing. So I did the strategy for three, and I did um. Nineteen. I mean eighteen. Mm -hmm. And then add another group of nine. Mm -hmm. And I got 26. So then 26 doubled is 52. Okay. What do you, if I didn't know 9 times 4, what is a way I could think about and solve this problem? 9 times 4. Well, you could solve it by knowing 9 times 2, which is 18, then just double 18 to get 9 times 4. And 9 times 4 equals... Thirty-six. Okay. What if, if I was stuck on seven times nine, what would you tell me to do? Seven times nine. Let's see. We're stuck on seven times nine. Then you could imagine the nine as a ten. Mm -hmm. and that would be seventy. So you subtract a group of seven. Okay. And then it would be sixty-three. Okay. What about like when you multiply a number by itself, like what is three times three? Three times three is nine. What's four times four? Sixteen. What's five times five? Twenty-five. What's eight times eight? Eight times eight. Sixty-four. What's seven times seven? Forty. Forty-nine. Okay, so you know your doubles for, right, the square numbers. Yeah. Okay, do you like math? Mm, it's okay. I'm not too interested in it, but... Um, some types of math I like, like geometry and okay. and multiplication. This really fun strategy that I learned at school. What's what is it? Uh, like you need paper to draw it on. Okay, show it to me. So let's see. Um, let's just give me two random numbers. Like single digit numbers. Uh, it doesn't. Yeah, single digits. Fine. Okay, like three times four. 3 times 4, well, you don't really need to use this for 3 times 4, so 3 and 4, then, wait, I forgot what's next, then it's like, then you do the box, and then it's like that, mm -hmm. and so 3 times 4 is, 3 times 4. I forgot what three times four is. Uh, twelve. Mm -hmm. It's twelve. And wait. It, so you're doing lattice. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then um. So you put the one in that box, the two in the other, and so it's twelve. Okay. Um. What of these facts, which ones were easy? Of course, the 0 times 4, 1 mm -hmm. times 2, 5 times 3, mm -hmm. 10 times 7, mm -hmm. 2 times 6. I got a little stuck on the 3 times 9, mm -hmm. and um, 4 times 4 was pretty easy, mm -hmm. and yeah. Which ones were tricky? Definitely 3 times 9. 4 times 8 was a little tricky. 6 times 7, and 7 times 8, um, 8 times 5 wasn't that tricky, mm -hmm. but um, 9 times 6 was. What do you do when you get stuck? I just think about all the strategies that I've learned and pick the right one. 
how do you know it's the right one? Like, I look at which number is being, like, multiplied, like, if it's ones, twos, like, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then, and then, um, eight, and okay. then, um, nine. 10 okay. are those are those the those are the easy ones but seven mm -hmm. I just if it's if it's like seven times seven mm -hmm. then it gets a little stuck but if it's seven multiplied by something else it's easier to solve okay all right anything else you want to say because um the seven because the seven part it's like uh, it's a little bit more difficult because nothing really makes up seven. Okay. Oh, okay. So you don't know how to break apart the seven yeah. in the other ways. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for spending this time with me, and we're done. Okay. Okay.